Got a good match here for you guys. This is an APA match, skill level four, right here, Mr. Chris, who is also a Trump supporter, which is fine, I don't discriminate, against yours truly, skill level five, an eight ball. This is the lag. You send the ball down, bring it back, whoever is closest to the rail down there gets to break. And it was me. So here we are, I'm gonna break that second ball. I'm gonna hit that second ball with bottom left. Boom. Usually that type of break uh, moves the eight ball and you know if, well, if you don't know, if the eight ball goes in on the break without the cue ball going in on the break, you win the match, at least an eight ball. All right, here we go. So I didn't make anything which gives Chris the next shot and he chose stripes. Now I did do some cuts here because uh, Chris kind of lingers. Uh, making decisions I linger making making decisions it's eight ball eight ball you, you don't really want to rush you know there's a lot of balls on the table you need to take your time and figure out what your strategy is going to be I'm trying to cut the four ball into the corner first shot of the night way off a diamond off <laughs> a diamond off but that's okay don't be hard on yourself Mike and I think I, I was feeling really good this night. This was last night, actually. All right, he squeezed the 15 in. This was last night. It was one of our teammates' birthday. You know, I was buying her some drinks, and uh, we were just in celebration mode. So I'm feeling good. Uh, one missed shot doesn't ruin the bunch. He tried to do that little reverse bank. Almost made it. I think that was a good choice. He could have uh, cut the 10 ball here. Or no, he could have went straight for the, for the 11. So it's back to me. I see a bank with the 4 to bring the cue ball down for the 2. So just a little low. Actually, I, I hit the cue ball too low, which brought it past the 2 ball. Did I say cue ball? I hit the cue ball too low, brought it down here. And am I going to try to cut it? Oh, no, I'm going for the three. Rattled the pocket. Set up for the two, though. You always try to um, go for a shot so that you have a shot on something else. You know what I mean? And he tried to bank, too. Not a bad, not a bad try. Not a bad try. Again, I'm a skill level five. He's a skill level four. I need to win four games. He needs to win three games. Whoever hits their number first gets the victory. All the way down. So I hit high on the cue ball and it followed it. Followed the five ball. I'm talking this way. I know my regulars are here like, dude, we know. But hey, if there's new people here, look at this. I tried to squeeze the three in the side. And it did not go. And also, the cue ball didn't hit the rail. And the three ball didn't hit the rail on that shot. So that's ball in hand. He decides to put the ball here. Run the 10 ball into the side. But one thing I noticed about Chris's stroke, and you'll, you'll, you'll see it uh, throughout the match, is he pops up. As he strokes, he stands up. So everything goes up. He's not shooting through the ball he's just he's hitting the ball but also kind of skimming it you know so it gives me a ball in hand the 10 ball didn't touch anything the cue ball didn't didn't hit a rail the object ball needs to hit a rail or go in cue ball needs to hit a rail after contact with the object ball so I decided on the one ball let's get the seven ball in and I think for this, oh no, I hit low here. I don't know where I want it to go, honestly. Oh, I think I did want the six in the corner, but whatever the table gives you, you have to go with it. So it's two ball time. I'm still not cutting the balls enough. It takes time to kind of acclimate yourself to the table, uh, the speed of the table. Uh, get your eyes acclimated to the felt. You know, we've been watch I've been watching pool matches up until this one. 
So it should be acclimated, but it's a different story when you get down on the ball. All right, so he's still trying to run, run the stripes out. Nice. Top English. Yeah, you hit that a little harder. You would have split that up a little bit more. Doing a little walk around. I told you some shots, I leave it in if it's not long enough. See the cut there? So he probably took another 10 seconds. and There's no point in just watching that. All right, he wants to cut the 11. Or he might have been doing a defense. See, all you got to do is get the cue ball to hit a rail after making contact with your object ball for you beginners out there. And I encourage you beginners. Ooh, look at that. See, I'm not I'm not cutting enough. That's been what? Uh, three? Three shots that were way too thick. Thick meaning I, I hit too much of the ball. I need it. I need it to hit less of that six to get it in there. Um, I was saying something, but I forgot. Oh, I encourage you guys, man. If uh, you're not in league and you kind of need something in your life, <laughs> something like that that gets you out of the house, you know, gets you gets your mind away from work away from life's stresses even though if you're competitive this can this can be kind of stressful as well um, but i encourage you to get in the league there are other kind, kinds of leagues apa does not sponsor me there's bca there's usapl there's uh what is the other one tap um there's house leagues at your local pool hall uh, Fat Willies, who I've shown before here. Actually, my uh, my In a Funk video was at Fat Willies. They have a house league on Wednesdays, I think. And they play by BCA rules, but it's I don't think it's officially BCA. I think it's just, just the bar league, you know. So I'm, I'm making some strides here. Uh, ended up on the nine ball, but... I got to dig into this because if I hit this just normal, I think it'll scratch. So if I dig into the cue ball, see how it cut the angle? That was a that was actually a really good example of what hitting low on the cue ball does after contact with the object ball. It kind of swerved out of the way of the uh, pocket there. Again, hitting that two ball, not the two ball, the second ball. If the one is at the top, I'm hitting the second ball. You see where the eight ball is? I'm trying to get that eight ball moving somewhere. Moving into one of those pockets, really. Because that's a game right there. One inning, zero innings. It's over. Next game. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you guys probably are uh, noticing the hair. Yeah, I got, I got some cornrows going. I had to get tidy, man. My hair was just... It's just a wild bunch. Nice. A little stun shot there to the corner. I think I'm going to actually cut my hair here soon. It's just a lot to keep up with. I'm wanting to hit this nine ball soft. But when you hit a little piece of the ball, it doesn't matter how soft you hit it, that cue ball is going to continue to roll. The more ball you hit, boom, see how, well, I hit low on it, but if you're wanting the cue ball to go forward, the more ball you hit, the more power you're going to have to give it to, like, give it that forward motion. It's top spin. Um, follow is what we call it as well. That was just kind of a Hail Mary. There's a few shots in this match that just don't make sense, so just ignore it. <laughs> also, I fell into the trap of like trying to do something like impressive for the camera, but I've got to get out of that if I want to win games. I've got a big tournament coming up, a qualifying tournament for the U.S. Amateur Tournament. I don't know much about this, but I signed up for it. Uh, I think it's through the APA. 
Um, but I don't know. It's in Huntsville. That's an hour, hour and a half away from me. I'm in Nashville, for those who don't know. This bar, again, it's Froggy and Jethro's. It's in Spring Hill, Tennessee. This is the owner, Chris. We call him Froggy. Froggy and Jethro's. So I think he has a partner, or maybe not. Maybe he didn't change. I don't know. I don't know the history of the place. I know he's a cool dude, and uh, there's three tables in this bar, and we play league here Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. And a lot of tournaments happens on Saturdays. Uh, just about every Saturday, there's there's a eight ball, nine ball, or ten ball tournament. I tried to do that cross bank shot. I didn't hit enough of the ball. It's fine, totally fine, totally fine. Yeah, I wanted to make it and then make the thirteen and then the eight up there in the side in the corner. Doesn't always go according to plan though. That's pool. It doesn't always go according to plan. It's another like. Pool is full of life lessons. It really is. He's got a problem right here. The three and the two. What do you do with that problem? You know? Do you, do you face the problem aggressively or patiently? You probably should have hit that. What? Okay. Okay, puts me on the other side since the seven ball is blocking me from going into the uh, side pocket there. I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm going to run the cue ball all the way up and back down. That's right. So 13 in the side. I hit it too hard or not hard enough. Because if I would have kept, if it would have kept going, it would have knocked the seven out the way. I probably would have had close to a straight in shot on the eight. So now... Faced with another challenge. Here's another life problem. I definitely cut some time here, as you can see the cut right there. I was gonna try to kick it into the the far right upper corner, but I thought if I didn't hit it right, I could scratch. So, I mean, I could scratch here if I don't hit it right, but. Hmm. If the eight ball would have went into the wrong pocket, game over. Chris would have won this one. So I will share some rules along the way. Some of my regulars, just bear with me. Ooh, that was a nice cut. I missed that one. I, I watched the match all the way through so that I could chop out long breaks, you know. I don't remember that cut, though. That was brilliant, Chris. Thin right here. A little too thin. He hit the rail first and uh, set me up for this shot. Which, if when the eight ball is that close to a pocket, mm, it's not much you can do. And that's game one. So now I need three games. He needs three games. It's a 3-3 three, three race. Race to three at this point already got one of my games out of the way again trying to get the eight ball moving probably didn't hit it hard enough two ball drops still my shot six ball looks good three ball looks good too i think so i'm trying to decide i go six ball come off the rail or no rail now one ball in the top right corner. Putting low on it, my favorite shot. <laughs> and look, I can't control it. Should have hit it harder to knock those two balls out of the way. So people favor, um, you know, high English over low. Because you just have more control. And I forget. I forget so much when I get to the table. I play by... When you play by feel, like me, I play by feel. Which means, however I'm feeling, I want to run this in here right now with low spin. Did you see the spin on the cue, guys? That was low right, I think. Yes. No. It was low left. 
low left so that when the cue ball hit the rail it would grip and come back this way even though it seems like it should have went up table it went came down table I love those shots I need to practice more though all right so he's on stripes nice little draw shot there sometimes you can control them sometimes you can't so he needs an okay he wants the 11 next so he's just gonna go center ball oh he went a little high he went a little high so you got to be focusing on the point on the cue ball where you're gonna hit don't look at it once and then fixate on the object i would say fixate on the cue ball the most let me know in the comments what you guys do some of you pro players out here oof it's a bad roll it's a bad roll sometimes pool is like poker you know the flop comes out you're looking nice you might have paired something the uh turn comes and it's a whole nother ball game now maybe it's like four spades out there so somebody else could easily have a flush draw I don't know if that analogy worked or not <laughs> I know he didn't know he didn't think that he was going to scratch on that shot I didn't either that was nice so I had ball in hand and I intentionally hit the five in a way to break that seven up it just comes with experience I actually wanted wanted the cue ball to go right our right so that I can hit the four in the side with follow cue ball follows it down eight ball in the bottom right corner so right now I have to in order to hit the eight in the bottom right corner which is really the only place it can go besides the the other obvious places I'm gonna try to cut the four Oh, I can see it. What am I trying to do? Oh, I did want the eight in the left side. Oh, no. What? I didn't know what that was. <laughs> that was one of those shots. I wanted to get on the left side of the table here and hit the eight in the corner. But there's so much to think about. Which is why you got to practice so that these shots just come natural to you. But I, I didn't need to hit it that hard. But I needed hella draw on that. That was good, Chris. You're still moving, though. You're still moving, like, during your follow-through. You're going, you're coming up. He wants to skim this 13, which is a really iffy shot. <laughs> he made it. I do remember that. He made it. Now, did he hit the 8 first? No, he didn't. Because he made the 13. But I was worried about that. Now he hit that a little too hard. He hit that really hard, actually. Because even if he hit that short, he would have had a, the same cut that he had on the on the ball that he had two balls ago. He's going for a bank. You just need to stay down on your, on your shot, Chris. Shoot all the way through. And hold it there, really. No, this is terrible shot. Terrible. All I had to do was make the four. But here for TV, oh, a draw for show. <laughs> I made the shot. But it was the ugliest shot I have ever taken. I think that goes down as the most hideous, hideous attempt of a full table draw shot uh, did you see where the four hit the four hit like the the first diamond on the right side over here it was really really bad and that was way too much eight ball right there those cut shots on the rail those rail runners for me are like no good right now i do have a table and again this uh preliminary tournament is friday Oh, we're, I'm down. Oh, I'm not down, but uh, he's got a match. So he needs two more. I need three. Again, he only needs three total 
to win because he's a skill level four. I'm a five. I need four games to win. So it's a two, three race right now. But yeah, the U.S. Amateur Championship preliminary. Tried to cut the seven there. Is this Friday night for us in Huntsville? Now it's taking place all over the country, but you just you decide where you want to. What's the closest place you know that's that's hosting? Bumpers, bumpers, billiards, or bumper billiards, bumpers. They're holding it in Huntsville, and like I say, I can I can get down there in an hour and a half. No problem. Leaves me with stripe. I'm gonna try to go low, soft touch, so that I I can put the eleven right back in there. It did not happen. Table time. It, I, to me, it's table time. Um, I haven't I haven't really been working all that much. This is the beginning. Didn't cut it enough again, again. Most of my cuts have been too thick, too much ball, not enough cut. Um, this is beginning to be the slow season for me, so you'll be seeing a lot more of me. And if you're new here, subscribe if, you, if you're enjoying the content. If you're old here, like the video. You already know. Engage with me. Leave me a comment. Let's talk. How you been? Hopefully good. All right. Okay. Took his insurance away. Six ball. When you have a ball really close to the rail, I mean, to the hole, to the pocket, that was a nice cut. That was a nice cut. I don't know if that was a part of the plan. I would assume that Chris isn't thinking three, four balls ahead. <laughs> He's probably thinking two, two to three. Um, but yeah, when the ball is like really close to a pocket, uh, that's insurance. Like, so that gives you an opportunity to kind of try something else. But, all right, I get the same shot again. Low left to give it a little bit of throw and I nail it. Man, that felt good. That back cut, long back cut. Rail runner right here. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system because, man, I have not been, oh, haven't been successful at those, so I decided to go here. <laughs> Good call, Mike. Good call. But now what do you want to do? Oh, you want to bring it up? That was a nice draw stroke. Lots of power. Back to the rail runner. I can't escape it. You can't hide. Nice and soft. With the help of the the side of the pocket there. What do they call that? Side of the pocket. Nine ball. Bounce up. Too much. Ah. Too much. Ball control. Speed control. Speed control. Push that trident down a little bit. Guys, I'm on a diet. I am on the carnivore right now. But I am specifically doing beef this week. So last week was chicken only. What I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out my uh, sensitivities. Tim, my teammate, wanted to call a timeout. I vetoed him and it was a bad decision. <laughs> Again, that was a camera shot. That was a shot I wanted to mass a around the four and make the eight. And woohoo, you guys will be like, wow, Mike, it's very impressive. That's something you got to stay away from when you're at the table. Pool is not about that unless you're Dr. Q or Florian uh, Venom Kohler. Check out my last two videos. Maybe I'll leave it in the corner somewhere. My last two videos, I, I was able to play those guys. If you haven't watched it and you're a regular here, come on, go watch it. Go watch it and leave me a comment. And a like. 
We're trying to get the algorithm on our side. All of us pool playing content creators, man. We we want to we want to reach new people, man, with this sport. Let's blow this sport up. I'm not making any money with this this YouTube stuff. I'm, I'm spending a lot of time <laughs> um, editing. Shooting is normal for me. I do it for work, so it's nothing to really put the camera up and all of that. Um, but the edits, you know, I play the match, I come home, I watch the match and cut out the things that you probably don't want to see. And then I commentate on the match, which is watching the match all over again. Uh, and then you have the export, which is going to take hours because this is 4K and this is probably a 30 minute video. Then uploading it to YouTube is another hour, potentially. Maybe not. Maybe it's uh, 30 minutes or so. It just varies. It depends on the video. Uh, let's get back to the game. Sorry. I go on tangents every now and then, but... I do want to uh, chat with my regulars. Um, but yeah, the support is... I'm very appreciative of the likes and the comments. I am. Because it tells YouTube, hey, this guy's working. This guy's working. I tried to do a triple combo. Two to the... What's the red stripe? 11 to the 7. And look where I ended up. I might have had a shot on the one. That was just probably not a good shot. One thing that I'm doing here, I'm playing really aggressive. I don't think I've hit any safety shots right now. In this match and previous matches, or I mean this game and the previous games in this match, definitely called for some defensive uh, plays. Yeah. One bad habit I have is like when I'm playing a skill level under me and uh, I assume that they can't run racks, you know, and I can't run racks, so I mean, I'm, they're not going to run a rack, but that makes me more careless. I play more carelessly because of that, and I shouldn't because tonight, this is Tuesday, this is the day after this match I got whoo oh man I got smoked almost Chris I got smoked tonight why because in this match I wasn't deploying really smart strategic shots I'm just going going for the jugular look at me chewing the gum all fast Heart rate's up. Adrenaline is pumping. See the deep breath. So what I want to do here, and you'll see what happens. I want to give it follow. Maybe I cut this out? Nope. I guess we're going to wait. Yeah, I'm hitting high on the cue, but I'm trying to avoid scratching. I'm trying to hit the point or like a little bit above the point. But you see what? I missed a seven. So I hit. I wasn't lined up right. I hit too far to the right of the six. Clearly. Clearly. Oh, H2O. Checking some text. Oh, comments. My bad. My bad, guys. Oh, we got a little ways to go. All right, we can get a few comments in. All right, we're watching Chris just grease these balls in. All right, my last video was the Florian video. World, what is it? World Champ versus me, APA SL6. So we played nine ball. I am a six in nine ball. So you can be different levels for different um, types of formats or games. You almost missed that one. Follow through. Take your time. Man, he is running out on me right now. 14 goes, but what to do with the eight? So you got to be thinking about the eight right now. Because had he made that, what do you do with the eight? You can you can hit my ball in at the top and hope that I miss 
and then the eight is right there left in the pocket or you can play safe I don't I think he was trying to make it though all right here we go two ball to seven combo two goes I would have hoped that for the two to stay that way I could have just tapped it in now three ball into the corner uh, upper left corner and then I, I really don't know <laughs> what other ball I would hit after that one ball with low let's see let's draw it over Ugh, terrible I had a shot on the six though but you really can't judge your position on the next ball if you miss because I missed I didn't hit the ball where I needed to go therefore the result where the cue ball landed it's not where it was not it's not where it would have been would have done something different had I made that shot so sometimes you're just off and I'm off right now and Chris is off as well so here we go easy one six three nine up in that right corner that's what I see right now. I don't know what I did though. One side, six corner, three corner, eight in the same corner as a three. All right, let's find some comments. I forget I have to whoa, actually go into the YouTube app and not the um, All right, 59 comments. Look at this, I did not make that. Give him another shot on the eight. That was perfect though. Hit the three ball with like a little left and top. Come back down for the eight ball in the same pocket. It's just table time. Chris is hitting the ball, um, but table time, will you'll know where to hit those banks. Right now, for me, banks are like feel. I don't have to really calculate much. Like, I can just see it. It's a feel. All right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Ducci. Ducci's my, uh, my oldest son's best friend. This was a sick video, Mr. Stucky. It's me, Luke and Owen's best friend, Reagan. Shout out to Reagan. Reagan's a good kid. I coach him in football. But not this session. Not this season. That was nice. Really perfect speed. Uh, <laughs> I think this is the last one. Oh. oh, my goodness. That is it. I almost scratched on the eight. And that is four games. I hope you guys enjoyed this one with the owner, Mr. Froggy, a.k.a. Chris. Actually, Chris, a.k.a. Froggy. Um, yeah, let me, let's, let's find another comment real quick. Back with another rack. Keep the videos coming. That's my guy, Anthony. Uh, I be that G. This was dope. Flames. All right. Since say Nate plays pool, let's let's read a couple of these. Some of you guys probably want to check out right right now, and that's fine. Um, I talked about. I asked uh, Florian uh, if he looks over his glasses or through. He says he looks through because he doesn't get down low. I get down low, so I look over my glasses. I actually wear contacts now. I didn't mention that in the previous video. I do put my contacts in for my matches, but they are they are not ideal. It, they irritate me. Uh, I'm forever blinking to try to get a clear vision. You know, with with glasses you can wipe them off. With contacts you're like sitting there blinking. And you're trying to come up with some tears or something. I do have some drops too that help. Um, a little bit. So yeah, since eight and eight plays pool, I wear billiard glasses because like you, I get down real low. Contacts weren't cutting it. They get irritating and fuzzy after long hours of playing pool. Billiard glasses are by far the best pool accessory I own. It's not close. I won't read the rest. You guys can go down there. It does say 400 to 500 bucks. So I'm a little hesitant right now because money is a little funny as work. Um as the slow season starts so i gotta i gotta be careful with my funds but i do want to try some 
Home Slice Japan, my man, Reese, fun video. Um, oh, this is a good one. I'll end on this one. Sorry, guys, I totally forgot about comments earlier in the video. Robert uh, Covell, or Covell. I can't believe it. Congrats on meeting him. You are an inspiration to me, man. I now play APA at Hard Times Billiards in Sacramento. Just starting out, but I want to do similar stuff, such as videography, photography, mixed with pool somehow. So this is great to see you getting where you want to be. I know you've commented before, Robert, man. Thanks for engaging with me. And uh, I think you mentioned before that you're into photography and camera camera gear and all that kind of stuff man get at it man record your matches i'm gonna do a video to just show you how i record mine and maybe how i edit them actually i probably should oh no, maybe it's coming i don't know when but it's coming and uh all of you um uh, maybe i'll show you some tips and some uh gear that you can use that you can buy to uh set your phones up you don't have to have a dslr camera to do this you can use your phone. I've recorded my matches with my phone before, and and they, it's really good quality, actually. Um, phones, phone cameras are made to like, it's on auto, so it will adjust to the light. Uh, it has uh, infinite focus, so everything is in focus. So, uh, yeah, I encourage you all to uh, film your matches and just upload them. If something special happens, clip that and put it as, as a YouTube short. Let's just, let's just uh, pump out some content for the sport. All right, man. Glad to have you guys here. Glad to do a quick video. I wanted to put it out. Um, I've got a shoot tomorrow and I've got this event Saturday, the, the tournament on Saturday, Friday and Saturday. So I uh, just wanted to have another video circulating out there. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.